What's up, Vortex Nation? Today we are going to be learning all about the Fury HD 5000 AB laser range finding binocular, how to set it up, and how to use it. The first thing you're going to want to do after you take your Fury AB out of the box is install the battery. The battery install location is located on the bottom of the unit under the right barrel. Now, getting your Fury 5000 AB set up for you is going to be very similar to setting up any binocular. What you're going to do is you're going to want to adjust the twist up eye cups so that they fit your facial structure or if you're using glasses while you're shooting. Uh, once we've got that set, we're going to go ahead and adjust our inner pupillary distance. This is going to be different based on the facial structure of the person using them, but ultimately refers to how, how close the barrels are positioned to one another. Now, once we do that, we're going to go ahead, find something about 20 yards away. We're gonna look through the binocular with just our right eye. You can also cover the left barrel of the optic if that helps. Once we've got something at about 20 yards, we'll use the center focus wheel to get a nice clear image with just the right barrel. Now, once we've done that, this is where it's a little different from standard binoculars. The Fury 5000 ABs have a left side diopter adjustment covering up the right barrel or just using your left eye through the binocular, we'll adjust the left eye diopter until we've got a nice flat consistent image all the way across the field of view. Now, if you don't do this, you might experience a little bit of discomfort or eye strain. The final thing that we're gonna do to get these set up is we're going to power up the binocular using the measure button. This will turn on the reticle and it'll allow us to use the right side reticle focus dial to get that reticle nice and crisp. Now that you've got your Fury adjusted for your eyes, it's time to begin customizing the menu settings. All of the settings are accessed by holding down the menu button for two seconds. Once the menu appears, you can toggle between available settings by pressing the menu button once. To change an individual setting, use the measure button to toggle through the available options. In order to begin pairing your Fury AB to your smartphone, make sure to switch it from HCD mode or horizontal component distance to ballistics or BAL. The Fury will not pair in HCD mode. We also recommend changing the timeout for the Fury to 180 seconds to make pairing easier. Lastly, toggle Bluetooth on. You'll see the Wi-Fi symbol appear on the left-hand side of your Fury's display. To save your changes, hold the menu button down for two seconds or until the reticle appears. Your Fury is now ready to begin pairing to the Fury HD smartphone app. The Fury AB has a companion Fury HD app that is required to utilize the device to its full potential. The app allows you to change all the Fury AB settings, calibrate the device, build firearm profiles, and override parameters to customize your firing solution to a unique situation. You can download it for free off the iPhone App Store or Android Marketplace. Once you have it, open the Fury HD app and select Pair Device. Look through your Fury AB and make sure that the display is on, then select your Fury from the available Furies list. If there are multiple Fury ABs in the area, select the one that matches the last four digits of the serial number printed on the bottom of the right barrel near the battery compartment. The app will then ask you for a PIN. Look through your Fury and you will see a two digit PIN code. Enter this code into the app and the Fury AB will pair. Your Fury AB and serial number will now appear with a green check mark next to it at the top of Pair Devices page. When you back out of that page and return to the main menu of the app, you should see a Wi Fi symbol in the top right corner of the screen. If that Wi Fi symbol is not there, or if it ever disappears, it means your Fury AB is not connected to the app and you need to reconnect it before you do anything else. With the Fury AB now connected to your app, click the cog icon in the upper left corner of the screen to open the Fury AB settings page. It's important to note here that the Fury AB itself will not operate while you are connected and in the app settings. You must close out of the settings page in order to use the Fury AB. Here, you can change all the settings you accessed previously with the Fury AB itself, 
and it gives you advanced settings to increase your Fury AB's functionality. We recommend immediately switching Keep Devices On to Yes. This will prevent your phone screen and your Fury from timing out and severing the Bluetooth connection before you are finished customizing your Fury AB. For the time being, we also recommend that you set Kestrel Solution in Fury to off. We will come back to this setting later. Finally, ensure Spin Drift is set to on. All of the other settings can be turned to your preference. Once you have your settings in place, it is time to calibrate your Fury AB. In your settings page, with your Fury AB connected and the Wi-Fi logo visible in the upper right corner, select the Calibrate button at the bottom of the page. Click the large Start Compass Calibration button. The Fury AB display should now read Cal Zero. Follow the instructions on the screen. You'll first need to press the Measure button before you begin rotating the Fury AB. Then, begin rotating the Fury across all three axes until the bar at the bottom of the screen fills all the way up. When the Fury AB is fully calibrated, a dialog box will appear asking you to press the measure button twice to save the calibration into the Fury AB. You can also look through the Fury AB before saving the calibration to see the current degree you are pointing. As you rotate yourself, it should move 360 degrees until you return to your original position. Once you save the calibration, the full display should reappear. The Fury HD app will not notify you that the calibration has been saved. Once you press the measure button twice, simply press the back button in the app to return to the settings menu. Your Fury AB should be calibrated every time you significantly change location, typically 30 miles or more. It is recommended that you calibrate your Fury AB outside and away from large metal structures or objects. The Fury AB comes preloaded with three common firearm profiles you can choose from. Profile A is 308, Profile B is 6.5, and Profile C is 5.56. Since we're shooting a 6.5, we're going to make sure that Profile B is the active profile on the Fury AB. To do this, enter the Firearms page of the Fury HD app, select your desired profile, then select Yes. If you're not connected to the app or you don't have a phone near you, hold down the Menu button on the Fury AB until the word Mode is displayed. Press the Menu button to toggle through the settings until Prof appears. Then use the measure button to select between A, B, and C. Once you have selected your desired profile, hold the menu button down for two seconds or until the full display appears again. You'll see your selected profile letter at the top of the display. Press the measure button once to take a range with the Fury AB. When you take a range with the Fury AB, you will get two numerical values, one on the upper right of the display and one on the lower right. The upper right number is your range angle and the lower is your range distance. After two seconds, the display will flip to a new view. These new numbers are your correction. The number in the upper right is your elevation correction and the number in the lower right is your windage correction. The direction you dial is signified on the left side of the display by a U for up or D for down for elevation and either an L for left or R for right for windage. Double check that your correction is in the same unit of measure as your rifle scope is. If it isn't, check out our tutorial on customizing your firearms profile in the Fury AB. Your corrections will also appear on the ballistics display page of your Fury HD app if you have your Fury AB connected. Here, you get even more precise measurements, corrections, and additional data about your firing solution. All right, so you've got your Fury AB set up and ready to go. It's time to take it out in the field and get accurate rounds on target. As always, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. You can comment below, give us a call, or hit us up on any of the social platforms. Thanks again.